Now let's see how does Snowflake does all those things that we have discussed earlier. How the compute and your storage is separated, and how does it uh, uh, help us? Now let's first deep dive into what's the traditional architecture that we have been studying or we have been using from quite a time. So the first traditional architecture that we have is uh, our shared disk architecture in which we have one uh, storage disk and multiple compute cluster so all those compute cluster will uh, will will access the same disk and this compute cluster are also attached to each other so it is shared disk shared storage single cluster it's a single cluster with three machines and then all those three machines are uh, related to each other they're linked to each other so it's like a single cluster and it has a shared storage so this was a traditional architecture so the the downside of this architecture was uh, as this is uh, one compute uh, one single cluster so for example if you are running a query on uh, on this uh, machine and then you are running the same as uh, some other queries on on another machine uh, as uh, the cluster has a limited capacity for example 2 gb 2 gb 2 gb out of the 6 gb is a cluster capacity and then you have a uh, you have to run your query which is computer intensive and uh, as, a, as a single cluster it has taken mostly 4 gb of memory is, is taken by the machine learning team and data analyst team also has to run the query so the so the power or the compute capacity is not divided equally and then your uh, machine learning query would be running uh, in some cases your analytics query might suffer in some cases your machine learning query might suffer so this was the uh, drawback of our traditional architecture because it was a shared disk and shared storage architecture then we have this our uh, shared nothing we have a decentralized architecture in which we have local storage so we would have a single cluster but then we would have a storage uh, for each of our uh, of our machine so it has a local storage so in that uh, thing uh, in this architecture there was one drawback for example if our uh, one of the table is stored in this uh, in this storage uh, so there are two things either we have to you know replicate all the data in all the three storage in order to make a cross join otherwise uh, uh, otherwise what will happen is suppose if i have my orders data over in this one and my customer data on this one if i want to join it then my uh, my one my this uh, machine would pick data from orders and then would join data from compute through this uh, through this architecture but then the data would flow from this machine to this machine they would be joining and then there would be loss of lot of complex lot of complex operation happening over there there will be a lot of io and then uh, it's it it, it would slow your query and it would be computer intensive as well so this was shared nothing decentralized local storage single cluster these are our traditional architecture now what difference snowflake did is so snowflake is uh, you can see over here it is multi cluster you have different cluster uh, this is a this is a different cluster this is a different cluster this is a different cluster then you have shared data because you have uh, just one data and which is different so you have the centralized data you have a multiple cluster so what happens is in snowflake you have uh, a single storage for example a shared data for example in aws you snowflake stores the data in s3 and that s3 is accessible to all your uh, clusters so in snowflake we have a concept of virtual warehouses which you can say as a cluster as well so we create this virtual warehouses uh, for each of your users like for each of your team for example in your virtual warehouses we can define uh, what uh, which type of machine should it use uh, which type of ec2 machine should it use for example if your uh, warehouse is uh, created for machine learning team and then this machine learning team would require a very complex queries uh, a very computer intensive query to run we can create a virtual warehouses for them which would uh, which we can set that uh, suppose m to x large or you know uh, there are some more computer intensive ec2 machines should be used we can set up those virtual warehouses uh, as a, a cluster for them and then that virtual warehouses would run uh, a compute intensive a heavy ec2 machines behind behind the scene then we could have a data analytics team which would just uh, want to do some analysis 
they would just uh, require some min and max and count of certain table then uh, we could uh, we, we they don't have want any computer intensive uh, operation to do we can uh, create a virtual warehouses for them as well and then we can define a minimum ec2 machines uh, up maybe an x2 small or x something like that so both the teams have their own cluster have their own virtual warehouses and that and they are uh, they are separate so we get then last we get the uh, you know kind of a, uh, kind of a feature from uh, uh, not uh, shared storage but then not shared this uh, but then we have different clusters uh, for example uh, if here we have a different cluster for machine learning have a different cluster for data analytics then both of these clusters are having access to same storage we have a same storage for example aws s3 this is a shared data the data is shared and all this uh, uh, cluster is getting uh, access to the same storage over here so it is centralized storage and it is uh, different uh, for like it is not linked to any of the any of the uh, virtual warehouses so this is how snowflake gives us the data it is multi cluster you can give multi you can create multiple cluster shared data the data is shared between multiple clusters so uh, your your for example your uh, data analytics team is firing a query and at the same time a machine learning team is also firing a query both this uh, both this query will be served with the same data and then uh, you will get the performance because you don't have to move the data in and out to any of the machine your compute is coming directly to your machine directly to your storage to bring the uh, to fetch the data and then your data is the result are been given to the compute it is centralized if you can you can you know you can give us the elasticity you can uh, you can create a replication or you know uh, snowflake does it internally if your multiple compute uh, if your multiple uh, virtual warehouses are running on the same data then uh, the snowflake does it internally it can uh, replicate the data and it can give readily access to different clusters so it does it internally but you don't have to worry about it for for users it is just a single storage a centralized storage only and then uh, you you can have multiple independent compute cluster this is how snowflake works uh, so in the next lecture we would see uh, what are the advantage of this uh, architecture thank you